in terms of people looking at food and deeming it art, it's it's tough because everyone in the world cooks, whether it's from making a grilled cheese sandwich or to making the most complicated artistic plate that, that you, you'll ever see in your entire life. In terms of food, it's it's really the eye of the beholder and and what what the person you're feeding feels. You know, if they feel like it's a piece of art, then it's a piece of art. If it's not, then it's okay too, as long as it tastes good. Hello, my name is Ronald Sue. Uh, I am 31 years of age. I am from Atlanta, Georgia, and my art is uh, culinary arts. Everyone has their standards of like that they're trying to attain. You know, like if you're a painter, I guess your standard would be like Picasso or Van Gogh or some, somebody. You know, and for me, the term chef, I, to me, it's it's very. It's, it, it takes a lot of high esteem to get there, like it takes a lot of work, you know, everyone has their own definition of the word chef, but for me, I take it to the highest. And I guess I do consider myself a chef, but like it took me a lot of years to actually call myself a chef. You know, like I had to go through, I had to go through the shits at work, get my, get my butt kicked in, you know, go through the rigors of working on the line. So the reason I want to do the supper clubs, which is basically a way that I, it's an outlet for me to to create my own dishes um, you know a lot of times I work I I have to create dishes in the in the frame of Le Bernardin you know the restaurant I work at um, which is great um, but these supper clubs allow me to um, express my my own style without having any restrictions um, and you know, and it's fun. I like to. I love being able to cook for my friends. You know, a lot of times I cook at, at my restaurant. I don't know who I'm cooking for. I don't. I never get to see their face or talk to them. I don't really get to interact with them. But at these supper clubs, they're very intimate. Um, you know, I I only do it for a few, like ten to twelve people. I get to get to know them, and I and it's it's good for me because I get to actually talk to them one on one and get their feedback. Um, so it, it's good in the way that I get to do whatever I want in terms of my, my own personal style. So one dish that uh, really, really stuck with me that I did at my last supper club was called, is a, it's called a scallop shumai with caviar and a caviar beer blanc. Um, and that's, if you know, if you, if you look at the dish, that's like right up my alley. Like I grew up eating a lot of dim sum and shumai is like a dim sum staple. Traditionally, dim sum is a combination of pork and shrimp. Um, and the way, and when I did it, I did it with scallops and shrimp. Um, and then, you know, the um, usually you would dip in like soy sauce or something. But th in this case, I did it with a bear blanc, which is a which is a very traditional uh, f French sauce. At Le Bernardin, we do a lot of seafood and we serve a lot of caviar. So it was like. It was a cool dish for me. It 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 brought me back all the way from when I was a kid to where where I'm at now. And you know, it's it's fun. It's cool for me. Like that one dish can encompass my entire life in on one little plate. So that was one dish that really stood out for me from the supper club. The power of food definitely impacts what I do. Um, you know, I, I think the biggest compliment for a chef, or one of the biggest compliments for a chef, is to have to feed food to somebody and for it to evoke an emotion or memory. And the actual act of eating, you know, for me, eating is, is about having a good time. As long as you're like, you have good company, good food, you know, alcohol helps. Um, but if you're just having a good time and enjoying the food, then for me, that's the bottom line. It's like, just enjoy each other's company over some good food and you know everyone's in a winning situation at that point. <laughs>